Oh, say no. Well, now what did we do wrong? It was thinking. Huh? It was thinking. It was. Re it wasn't ready yet, but now it's recording. Don't push it again. Oh. Now you can just go ahead. <laughs> Good afternoon. This is Old Bake, and I'm building the micro lab laboratory because uh, John Heyman was a friend of mine, and knows that the old man likes to play with his toys, and he's allowed me to. Uh, work with the FS528 that does so many, many beautiful things. But my curiosity moved to measuring uh, some electrochemical cells. So in our consideration of the electromagnetic, uh, electromagnetic, <laughs> excuse me, electrochemical cells, uh, we went to the stock room to find some appropriate uh, things to use and of course we found uh, a small battery we found a zinc coated nail we found an iron nail and we found a piece of copper now the things of that nature should work to form an electrochemical cell such as the battery would be but what else do we need well we need an electrolyte or something like that and strangely enough this lemon will do, we think, for an electrolyte. And with that in mind, how about a mandarin orange? Might it do as well? So we're going to try to set up a little experiment here to evaluate that sort of thing. And we're going to use the equipment that I've just described. Let's take a look at it. And here we go with the screen that comes from that beautiful little machine that you saw. Uh, before, and we're going to have to try and uh, get things in. We need some sensors. So we have one here in the sensor, and what do we want to measure? We'd like to measure the voltage that would be produced from these cells. And if we look down this lengthy series of sensors, we find one down there that says voltage. And then we see a screen that describes various positions in which voltage might be utilized and we're going to use a simple one right over here that is just a little electrode pair that uh, forms the sense. the red one is the positive the black one is the negative and we're going to put it in here at which point it has should be in a position to measure voltage on this particular operation and you'll notice that down here in the little thing there's one that's labeled 2.5 volt that should be adequate for anything that we happen to be dealing with with that in mind let's get a reference point so we'll take the little battery that we have and uh, uh Oh, yes, and I've just been notified at the best something, U.S. Factory Calibration, yes, and I have it now. And uh, we'll try to get some contacts on this little old cell. The black one to the negative, and the red one to the positive. And indeed, we, we wind up with 1.493 volts. So, you know, the machine is working. Now, we wanted to examine some other electrochemical cells. And in a fit of fancy, we decided to use that. Uh, yeah, keep going, keep going. Oh. You have my picture. You see him talking down there. Uh, what? Oh, oh, really? Yeah. So, <laughs> That's why I'm saying when. <laughs> anyway, in a fit of fancy in this thing, we decided that we would make a cell from that uh, lemon. And so I will have it. And we'll carefully insert a zinc uh, coated nail. <clears throat> oh, yes, carefully. And uh, uh, in the other case, we need another electrode, of course. So we'll insert a copper electrode carefully. And we should be ready to make a measurement. And let's do so. So we've got 
an electrode. Connect this magnetic pole over here. We'll connect the positive pole over here. And surprisingly, we have something near one volt, 0.967 volts. That was amazing, wasn't it? Yes. And so we do have it. And matter of fact, uh, what if we had connected it in the reverse direction? Let's try it. If we connect it in the reverse direction, we get 0.974 volts, or roughly the same as we had before, with one big exception. If you'll note the negative sign in front of this voltage. Okay, we managed that for that particular uh, system. But what if it was a different electrode than that? We had an iron nail here. Oh, let's be very careful about it once again. And we have put an iron electrode. So we have really three electrodes in here. We we'll only use two at a time. We use the zinc and the copper before. Let's try the iron nail. Oh, I'm gonna... And a copper nail, and we get hmm, only 0.47 volts. Well, okay, it's a different voltage, uh, more based in part certainly on the difference in the electrodes. Just to make sure we're still on the right page, let's review that zinc one once we get. And we're coming up in the same one volt neighborhood again. Well, that's kind of an interesting thing. Let's see if it makes a difference. And if we can do the same thing with a different sort of cell. We'll discard it, lemon. We'll be mandarin orange. And we'll proceed in a similar fashion. Carefully and carefully, and we've created something that is the equivalent of that other cell, but will it also produce a voltage? What do you think? More, less voltage, any voltage at all? Let's take a look. And there we have a voltage 0.828 volts at this moment. Does it change if we move the electrodes a little bit? Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't seem to change very much. Same order that we saw with the other one. Uh, let's repeat the thing with the iron nail. And we try once again. And we have something in the same order that we had with the lemon. In other words, we've looked at two different cells, if you will. Well, we looked at uh, four different cells in the world. We looked at two with the uh, lemon, and we've looked at two with the mandarin orange. And I think it, you would agree with in the uh, uh, parameters of a rough experiment that it's essentially the same amount of voltage. Makes you wonder what is the difference between the two. Is it the orange? Is it the lemon? Is that making much difference? Not a whole lot. Let's just back up and think about it and go on from there. And I thank John very much for this opportunity to play and see what this might bring about. I think it's a beautiful tool for teaching in the chemistry lab. This is but one of a myriad of different kinds of measurements that can be made with this beautiful little instrument. Thank you, had a good time.